on. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all stoops. All right. Hey, we're back at. Back at it again. Hey, hey back at it again go. to talk about my Nespresso machine. Oh. What am I flipping? What kind of sign am I have I no doing? idea. I'm like holding my boob. What the hell? I want to hold your boob. No. Back at it again with the white shirts. Actually, first time with the white shirts. Hey, we're here to talk about the Nespresso machine. We're actually going to give you a little more information about it and mm -hmm. tell you a couple of tips. So let's get started. The machine itself costs $199. Now we bought the bundle, which came out to $250 because we ended up getting the Arachino machine along with the, the machine. Now the Arachino machine, it is what froths your creamer. Yes. So you can put creamer in there, you can put milk and- Hot chocolate. Or hot chocolate and it spins and it warms and Foams, foams up. up your cream. The itself costs a dollar ten for the large coffee shot. Do you have and one? yeah, I do. Right. Oh, I thought I gave it. This to is you. the. No, not that one. This is a. Okay. This. Well, we'll show this one. So later. they look like this when they come in. These are the large pods. Yeah. Large pods cost a dollar and ten cents, and they come in ten packs like this. Mm-hmm. And these are the espresso pods. Which is 85 cents these per are pack. 85. Now on the boxes, you'll see that they have indicators on how strong that coffee is on a range from 1 to 11. This happens to be a number 9, so it's pretty, pretty strong. 1 to 11. On the pods themselves, they have these codes on them, if you can see them right here. And this indicates, it tells codes. the machine what kind of pods in there. So how much water it has to make to produce the coffee that comes out of these pods. Smart machine. Very smart. Just like me. Like me. <laughs> the machine itself has five positions for different sizes of cups in the drip pan. So what I'm holding right now is the drip pan. Now this is something that you're going to want to get when you're making your coffee because when the coffee is on there and when it's spinning 7,000 times per minute, what it's doing is it's shaking the cup off because there's no gripper on there and it can just fall off while it's making if you step away. So what I found to be helpful is buying this well, we already had this in our cabinets. They're like little mesh grippers. They're actually cabinet liners. Yeah. Mesh cabinet liners we got from Walmart. But you can also get it on Amazon. And that goes on there and it helps you grip the So when it shakes. Cup. So when it shakes, it doesn't fall off and you can actually walk away while you're coughing. It doesn't even vibrate. Through. It's really, really good. Themselves, um, this is an acrylic cup, which I try to save money and buying them. I bought four of them on Amazon. I don't suggest these one? cups. The this one. You I suggest the glass cup. The tempered glass cup. Um, it's double walled. Double walled cup. But it's also fun when you make your coffee. You get to see the coffee, the crema, and then when you add your creamer, the creamer too. It's it's really pretty, and it's more of an experience when you're drinking coffee out of something that you can see. Yeah. We like it. So um, don't buy these. Buy these. Buy these. These are better. These little wooden spoons. I thought they were back scratchers. They're not back scratchers. Well, I've been using those scratch my back. Your back. No. Because my theory in buying this is if we had a metal spoon in here and, and spinning our thing, how annoying that is, a metal spoon could break this glass or fracture the glass. Or ceramic I, glass. Or, or ceramic glass, which is why this happened. Or regular so glass. So I wanted to buy something that wasn't metal and that was a lot better for my coffee. And these are amazing. Again, they are. everything's down in the description bar if you want to They're also them. great to feed little babies. <laughs> Froth your milk before you start your coffee so that when your coffee is done, you can just go ahead and put the milk in there. It kind of sucks if your coffee is already brewed and then you're waiting for your milk to finish. Yeah. So do your milk first. Uh, you, that's that about it for the tips. Yeah. If you want to learn more, like our video, comment below because we would love to talk to you guys. Yeah, I'll respond. And uh, subscribe. Subscribe. No, it's espresso. No, the there's no X. No, but the coffee, the machine makes espresso. It makes espresso. Okay, then it makes espresso. <laughs> really? It's not espresso? It's espresso. Why does it say espresso yourself? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know I gotta Anyways, look this up. Anyways, yeah, look at it. Let me try again. Go. Ready? Sing. Today we don't talk. <laughs> Today we don't. Dang, dude. Dang. I want to clap my hand. Don't clap. Don't clap. All right, we bought this machine 
Why do I do that all the time? Hey guys, back at it again. Nah. Here back at it again. Back at it again, Ski. <laughs> no, I'll try again. 